Hey YouTube, hey Instagram. It's Jessica here from Tiny Boss's Big Journey. Um, as you guys know, I am renovating my RV and I am on the paint. Yes, I am painting. And before I show y'all the first coat of the Zinzer Mode Killing Primer paint that I'm putting down first, um, it kills the mold that could possibly already be there um, and prevent it helps to prevent further molding so or mildew and all of that so I'm showing you my car and my green grass and the fact that the freaking sun is out without a cloud in the sky the reason I'm showing you this is because you won't believe when I sit here and tell you it is the winter time and it is 70 degrees what in what fucking world is 70 degrees in the winter um it's Cali and I get that Cali doesn't have like real winter. They have like springtime winter. But as long as I've lived here, I've never seen 70 degrees in fucking January, ever. Not ever. And all of a sudden, it's spring. Like right now, I'm in the spring. It's supposed to be winter, but it's spring. The reason I say this is because it's going to be in the 70s until Monday. And then from Tuesday to next Sunday, you know, the Sunday coming up, not this one, the next one, 65 and up. What? What? So I feel like this is God <laughs> saying to me, Jessica, finish a damn RV. No more rain for you until you finish your RV. And I'm just, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I know you see my Tesla shirt. I used to work for him. Um, and now I use it as my paint shirt. It is what it is. So. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera back around because I want to show y'all it again. It's the first coat of my white primer, the mold killer, but it's a big ass RV. It's 31 feet. And if you want me to be honest, I got like 27 feet of paint to put on just the primer. And then I have to turn around and paint a second coat of the primer then I gotta turn around and paint two coats of my actual paint that's going on the walls and I, it's a two-tone RV so it's gonna be two colors don't worry it'll look great when it's done I can't wait to show you when it's done but um yeah I have to I have a lot to do but I'm starting and I'm getting there I'm so getting there after the paint like real talk after the paint I'm doing the floors after the floors um it's a lot of decoration it's literally putting cute doorknobs onto the um, or cabinet knobs onto the cabinet doors. It's a lot of, you know, decoration. So let's get her done. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over. Okay, so it's a mess in here, but I have not painted this yet, but I've decided I'm going to paint that. I'm not gonna spray paint it, I'm gonna paint it. It makes it easier for me not to spill anything or mess up anything. So you got the front, the cockpit, so to speak. Um, these are getting covered. I already got the uh, seat covers for those. And the seat cover. Uh -huh, look at the lights! Oh my God, let me step back for y'all. Yes. <laughs> uh, it went from all of this ugly brown to all of this beautiful white. It is so bright in this RV right now compared to how it used to be how it's so bright in here i even painted this this used to be an ugly ass yellow i painted it with the kills mold stuff because it is an air conditioner and air conditioners tend to leak sometimes i don't know if there was leakage here or not but i painted it just to be on the safe um yeah i'm falling i mean honestly i fall in love with my rv every day i step into it but again it is hard not to constantly fall in love with your home when you're building it and when you're renovating it and when you're changing it up and doing stuff. I'm in love, y'all. Oh, I painted this. I don't give a fuck. I sure did. It was silver. I painted it black. I love it. I did the handle black as well. Um, this is black as well. Everything is black. I know you see the arterial spray and shit. It doesn't matter. This is getting covered up. Um, my beautiful wood, my beautiful wood cutter looks so good against black. Uh, 
I know I'm just like fucking up y'all view right now. But you'll see what I mean. I mean, uh, like seriously, do you see that sexiness? Oh my God, I cannot wait because my, um, my counters are going to be this color. So it's going to be black and then that beautiful light color. But again, <laughs> hi. Oh, let me turn you guys back the right way. <laughs> Look at that. You know, my last name is Lions, so I had to get my little L magnet on there. <laughs> and then here, I painted my door white. It's just primer. Um, he's going to get painted again. I still have to paint the bathroom. I have not made it to the bathroom. That's getting done today. My bedroom. My master bedroom. The ceiling is done. Um, I got to do another coat of white onto the uh, second air conditioner. Uh, these cabinets are not painted because they're going to be a dark color. But I wanted to focus on the wall. I still have to take my paintbrush and go along all the edges. But yeah, yes I did. It took two days. I started yesterday, believe it or not. I started painting yesterday. I started painting yesterday and um, I'm gonna finish it up today and then let it sit all day today and let it sit all day tomorrow. And then Monday I'm going to come in, actually I'm lying. I'm gonna come in tomorrow afternoon, do a second coat, let that sit until Monday afternoon, and then I'm gonna do some other things. So I won't be putting more paint on until Tuesday. So tomorrow I'll paint some more, and then Tuesday I will paint the real paint colors. So I'm really excited. I can't wait. Um, If you're doing this and you keep second guessing yourself because you're afraid that you're gonna fuck up your paint job and you're like, I'm not a professional, and it's going to look tacky. What if it looks tacky? They have paint remover. It's a such thing as paint remover. Stop being a punk. I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm being, I'm trying to be as, as positive as possible and just keep it real with you. Don't be a punk. I ain't never painted a day in my motherfucking life, but I'm out here doing it. And if I mess up, oh well, it's mine. So what? It's mine. I messed up. Paint remover. Sand it off. Sanders, little hand sanders. Let's sand it off, paint, you know, remove it off, scrape it off, do, do what you do and start over. Um, don't be afraid to jump out there and leap out there and do it by yourself. If you don't have help, I don't. I'm in here by myself. My boyfriend may have bought me an RV, but he ain't in this motherfucker, you know, fixing it up with me. I'm on my own. What I see in my head, I have to get out of my head onto paper, off of paper, and into real life. And that's not an easy thing to do. You know, you don't want to clutter up. You don't want to put too little in. You don't want to fuck, mess around and forget somebody. You don't want to, you know, break anything that you know you can't fix. Like, let me show you an example. <laughs> you see this? I don't know what the hell I'm going to do to fix that, but I'm going to fix that. Okay, you see the trim that I had to take off? Yeah, I had to take it off. There's a reason I had to take it off. It was bad trim. This was bad up here. You know, it was tacky, it was horrible. You see this wall? This had a panel, a weak panel, to cover up the, the, the shower, but we noticed that there was some leakage. Couldn't figure out why. Some dumbass put nails in the wall and did not seal it, okay? So as they took their showers, it would leak out and that created mold. So then I had to turn around and paint to get rid of the mold. So there's all kinds of things that are going on that you can find and fix and, and figure out. We need to put a panel there that's removable. We are not doing no cheap ass panel. I'm gonna put something nice. We have so many fucking mirrors, mirrors in this RV. I feel like the people who owned it before me were so vain. Everywhere you look, there's a mirror. I don't need that many mirrors. I know what I look like and I'm okay with that. So, um, we're not gonna put a mirror there. My boyfriend was like, we should put a mirror there. And I'm like, hell to the no. But we don't have anywhere to put my TV in the bedroom. So, I'm gonna put the TV at the top and put a removable heater thingy at the bottom. And then, done, done, done. So, yeah, I, I you know, there's, there's things you can do. There's things you can do. Um, after this RV is done, I plan to focus my channel on being able to uh, sustainably cook, 
store and live in an RV with limited space for your pantry, for your canned goods. If you're a canner like I am now, um, people who move into RVs are afraid to move into RVs because to them, they're like, we're losing our pantry space. We're losing our, our space where we can put our, our, our goods. And I have a family of, of four. You know, I got two kids, a dog, and a boyfriend. And myself, that's four people and a dog. And I'm about to show y'all, it, it, you can do it, it's doable. You can do it. I'm about to do it, so I know you can do it. And I'm in love with what I'm about to do. I can't wait, I can't wait to show y'all what I'm about to do, y'all gonna freak the fuck out. But yes, yeah, so I'm gonna keep it short because this is not meant to be a long one. I just want to show you my progress, let you know I'm still here and I have not disappeared or quit. Um, I'm excited and I got some juice. So uh, stay tuned, you guys. Stay tuned. Don't forget, if you are seeing this on Instagram, to run over to my YouTube channel if you want to stay up to date and keep up with my progress or just tune in with my family because, you know, I post some crazy stuff too. It's not all about RVs and canning <laughs> or so. But um, if you want to, you know, stay tuned, hit the subscribe button. Again, Tiny Bosses Big Journey. That's all you got to type in on YouTube and we will pop right up for you guys. Likes, comments, subscribes. Love them all, appreciate them all. The support is immaculate, you have no idea. And the fact that my subscribers are growing, it makes me so happy. <laughs> Man, like I don't have a lot, but the ones I do have, I, I love you. I swear to God, I don't have to know you or, or have met you. You tune in, you support, and you have no idea what that means to me. It lets me know that I'm not alone, you know? I'm not alone, and I'm not doing it by myself because there's someone out there rooting for me. So I appreciate you for it. Those of you who are on Instagram, all of the hearts that you give me, all of the tuning in that you give me, I'm so supportive, and I'm so happy for that, and I'm supported. So I appreciate you guys for it. I am a black-owned um, business owner, and you know, my daughters are too, so we are very happy. We are very happy for the support that we get from you guys. We have to keep chugging with today's world and the stuff that's going on. Do the best you can not to allow that to, to affect you or get to you. I am. You know, you are dealt the cards you are given, and there's nothing you can do about that other than taking those cards and turning them into something. I mean... I'm trying my best not to touch on the basis of what's going on out here. But let's just, let's just, let's just tap into that real quick. Uh, the situation with the Capitol, I don't live out there. I don't give a damn about the Capitol. I really don't because they don't affect me. I hate to say it like that because I know what they do affect me. But they're not physically affecting me right now in this moment. <laughs> And the fact that they felt the need to go up there as if that was going to make a difference of any kind was just stupid and just retarded to me. The fact that they were allowed to walk through with no tear gas, no repercussions, no backup, get back, you're going to jail, no zip ties, no nothing, no rubber bullets, no tasers, no gun bullets, like... If we even talked, thought, brainstormed about not going through the Capitol, but going up to the Capitol, like not the Capitol itself, I'm talking like in the vicinity of the Capitol, the vicinity, that means it could be blocks away, you know, across the street from, we would be gunned down. We would be tased. We would be tear gassed. We would be beat with batons. We would be have. We would have dogs sick on us. We would literally be right back where we were when Martin Luther King led marches. No joke, because that's where we are now. Like, that's where we are now. Like, you shoot a black person as a cop, and the black person is unarmed for petty stuff. Petty stuff. I'm trying my best not to cut for petty stuff. Because I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed and I'm sad. You shoot a black person for something super petty, super small, unarmed, okay? They're killing people who have mental illnesses. Like, real talk. This one guy shot a, 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 an adult. He was sitting on the floor playing with some type of a toy. His caregiver had got there and he, the, the cop shot the damn 
guy killed him, he had a mental illness, but then they shot the caregiver because he was yelling at them not to shoot because he was a caregiver. Like the guy's mental, don't shoot, don't shoot. He's mental, he's harmless. And they said he had something in his hand that they thought was a weapon and it was a toy. So, and oh, by the way, both of those people were black. Black person who was ill was killed. And then the black caregiver wasn't killed, but shot. So when I sit here and tell you petty things like that, I mean petty things like that. You're killing us for petty things like that. Someone doing their job, someone actually doing their job. You are allowing, you know, uh, the privilege, you know, um, that white privilege. I hate saying it like that because it makes me sound racist and I'm not, but it's what they're calling it, white privilege, as in you're Caucasian, born in America, and for some reason you believe that you are above me because I was born African-American. But yet I got three degrees. That's one. Two, single mom making it happen on my own, not asking for assistance, not asking for help. And again, I worked for Tesla. And right now I work for Safeway Distribution. I am not afraid to put my business out there in no way, shape or form. I make $24 an hour. So, privilege. <laughs> I have black girl privilege, you feel me? I make $24 an hour and again, like I said, I am a black business owner. I make soap, lotion, I make bath bombs, I make candles. I sell t-shirts with my daughter. My other daughter makes jewelry and I sell that with her. We are black owned business and we also have regular jobs. My boyfriend's off at work right now and he's Hispanic. So we are literally the definition of a minority family and yet we are living pretty goddamn good. Okay? So all of this white privilege, black privilege, I, I don't care about that, but that's what they're calling it. White privilege, okay? The fact that you're able to walk into a capital where you're not allowed. The fact that you're able to, um, what did this one guy do? Oh, he got pulled over. There's a guy who got pulled over on the highway. He was white. He had a gun in his lap. He had a license to carry, but it wasn't visible. He had a gun in his lap with the clip in the gun holder. The clip was in. The clip ain't even supposed to be anywhere near you, but the clip was in, sitting on his lap, and told the cop who would not pull his gun, sir, I'ma need you to take your hands off your gun and put your hands on the dash. You can look it up on YouTube, the video is there. He was saying how they were going up against his rights and he was trying to claim that his life matter. Like, bro, first of all, you don't qualify. And the reason I say that is because if he was black with that gun on his lap, he'd be dead, unable to speak to say that he has a license, unable to say that you are violating his rights. They talked to this man for 35 minutes trying to get him to take his hands, one, off of his gun, two, put his hands up. Are you kidding me? And then the guy drove off without a ticket, without being followed, without anything, they let him go. It's on YouTube. <laughs> it's on Instagram. That's where I saw it. And I couldn't finish it at first. I cried the entire time I watched that video because I knew that I knew, I knew that if I had a son and he was black and pulled over with a gun in his lap as a security guard getting off of work, has a license getting off of work, clip not in the gun, okay? Just the gun is in the car, not in his lap, in the car. And his hands are up and he's saying, I have a gun in the dash. By the time he says, I have a gun, they would have shot him. And their excuse would have been, well, he said he had a gun. So again, not politi political or anything like that, but it's just the, the world we're living in right now is pretty fucked up. So if you don't have um, a home that you own, um, you know, I got my RV off of OfferUp. I'm not saying that everybody should go out and get an RV. I'm not saying that because they're hard to get right now. Okay. A good one is hard to get. I was blessed with this one. <laughs> I was blessed. Uh, this one has problems too. Not just not big ones. Um, it, it's not easy, but if you can either own your house, buy a piece of land, not together. These are, or so own a house or buy a piece of land. It does not have to be in the state you live in. Um, and the reason I say that is because I own land in Nevada, 
I own land in uh, in Arizona and I own land <laughs> in New Mexico now. I own three different parcels. Nevada is 20 acres, Arizona is 10 acres, and New Mexico is 6.27 acres. You damn straight. Yes, I do. I own three pieces of land. Why not? Because I heard that Bill Gates is running around here picking up farm land uh, by the thousands. So, I don't know what's going on with that. I don't really care. I own three parcels. I plan to grow my food on all three fucking parcels. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I'm not done. I'm going to own land as, in as many places as I can. I'm serious. I'm going to own land in as many places as I can. I want to be able to travel to those places in this RV to my land in whatever place I'm at. And when I get there, I expect to have a garden waiting for me full of food. I expect to have my animals well taken care of. I expect my friends, close friends, and my family to be able to retreat there when all of this shit truly hits the fan. It ain't hit it yet. We just get a taste. There's some shit coming. I can feel it. And I need to be prepared for it because I don't got time. My boyfriend keeps saying the zombies and the apocalypse. Yeah, it's going to be worse than that. I mean, now we have all of a sudden we got three strands of COVID-19. We barely understand the first damn strand. Now we got three total. Like, it is about to be real bad. So, all I can say to you guys is thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the support. I know, right? <laughs> Crazy. And I'm so sorry. I am. I'm so sorry. If you are experiencing COVID or if you know someone experiencing COVID, I'm sorry. If you are going through this racial thing, I'm sorry. If you are affected by what's going on with the police and African American and race and, and you know, all of that, I'm sorry. I am. I am. Because nobody should have to go through any of these things. No one. But yet we are. So, um... I'm, you know, I'm praying for everyone. I don't know nobody, but I'm praying for any and everybody I can possibly pray for. And I, I do know one thing. God is here. Don't forget that. Um, you know, he is. And you are not by yourself. Even if you're fucking white. Like, this is not just for black people. Even if you're white and you support or you, you, you understand where we're coming from or you don't understand where we're coming from, again... There's people out there who are Caucasian and they don't get it. To them, police are doing their job and, you know, they're human and people fuck up sometimes. And, I mean, that's a lot of fuck up. You feel me? Okay. I'm not condoning that shit. But, you know, some people actually believe that. And, again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you don't get it. You know, I'm sorry that you feel like you're roped in with the people who are white supremacists. Um... We just don't know where to put you <laughs> because you don't know where to put you, you know? Um, I'm sorry. I really am. It, it sucks because, because this is the world we live in. And it's crazy because so many of us are mixed race. So how can you be racist with an entire world of mixed race? If you take absolutely nothing from my video, take that shit from my video. How is the world full of racism when we have a world that is mixed race. Hell, even I'm not all black. Just saying. So, I'm gonna leave you with that. You think about that. Um, I gotta go feed my babies. And we gotta go to the stove and play around. Have some fun because we deserve it. <sighs> I love y'all. I've been up since seven. I'm on some espresso and some shit. So, I don't care. <laughs> Um, if you don't like what I have to say, you can always cut my videos off after I show you what I've done. Um, if you do like what I have to say and you want to continue that conversation, boo, comment section, I'm there. Um, if you like me and want to support us, we do not have a Patreon yet because I don't know nothing about that yet. Um, I don't really ask people for anything, but I do know that there's some people out there who have been trying to reach out to me to support my kids and myself. Um... Uh, I don't do GoFundMes because that shit is a gimmick to me. Um, but, uh, you know, again, comment section, just let me know. I do have a, uh, what's that one? PayPal. Oh, and Zelle. 
um i do have wells fargo so it's a zell um again nothing is required of you guys i'm not asking you guys for anything um i'm just happy you guys are tuning in to listen to my shit um some people call this uh waffle on like when you waffle you just start rambling and shit some people call it rambling um i call it spitting truth uh you know i try my best to keep it as sugar coated as possible because some people can't handle what i be saying and they feel like i'm one-sided or narrow-sided um i don't want to lose any of my supporters but again not everything i say is about you and not everything i say is directed towards you and again you don't have to under you know uh, not accept but you don't have to agree with what i say i'm not asking you to agree with what i'm saying i'm just saying this is my views on what's going on and this is my take on what's going on tell me yours you know maybe you see it from a different side that i have yet to look at it from and, and it'll change my mind i doubt it but maybe okay he's say hi look at them oh my god my big one right here she's about to be 14 tomorrow what am i going to do this one next month is going to be 12. i don't know what to do y'all they're growing too fast for me and i ain't ready I i'm not ready now i'm gonna leave you because i've been saying that for like the last few minutes it went from a 10 minute video to a 26 minute video like what the fuck okay i love you guys 